Before the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, North African countries were already experiencing major problems in their healthcare systems. In Tunisia, public hospitals receive only 13% of public funds, according to the official journal of the Tunisian Republic 2019. In total, just 48 scanners and 240 intensive care beds are available for 90% of the population in all public hospitals. But despite these challenges, Tunisia has sought out technology and engineers to help contain the virus. A group of students, alongside artificial intelligence professor Dr. Mustafa Hamdi, developed a platform online that detects coronavirus symptoms in people's lungs. It works by comparing the chest X-rays of already infected people with those of suspected cases. An algorithm then determines, with 92% accuracy, if the person is COVID positive or not. This online platform, with interface ergonomics, is easy to use. All we need is to submit the X-ray image like this, and then the system will analyze it and give us a score in seconds. It's instant. The project was finalized in March this year, after two months of research and an estimated cost of $3,000. The platform was later approved by the Ministry of Health. This platform is present in Canada and China as well. But the difference between us is that our platform is open access. It could be used by everyone. This platform was among 15 other projects approved by the government since April this year. Other initiatives launched by Tunisian engineers and doctors included a robot capable of decoding the virus genome in patients. Now this application is very important because we can submit different X-ray images and get a feedback. So we can have some symptoms proving the presence of the coronavirus in lungs. And that's why this application can save us time and gives us a diagnosis other than the regular test kit. But also, it could give us the opportunity to prepare ourselves to prevent patients from going through COVID-19 symptoms in time. The research team is improving the platform in a private clinic and they have added new functionalities to the software that could potentially detect cancer cells in lungs. And according to the Global Cancer Observatory, they estimate that 46 people per 100,000 inhabitants in Tunisia will develop lung cancer between 2019 and 2024. This center is very well equipped with the scanner and IRM. Therefore, we're planning on further developing our research to seek early detection of other diseases, such as cancer. In this hospital, patients with lung cancer have given up their beds for 70 COVID cases. And among the three major public hospitals, the platform has allowed this particular hospital to conduct 1,000 tests per day and detect COVID-19 in record time. This platform saved doctors valuable work hours and prevented the government from spending $265 per test kit that would take seven hours to get a result. In terms of economic costs, it should be noted that the COVID costed too much. That's why we kept emphasizing on people to be careful, because financially we don't think that we can face another wave of the virus since it really costs a lot. A second wave of COVID-19 would be an enormous strain on the Tunisian government's economy. So, for now, say some experts, the country should continue to build upon its strength and its workforce of skilled medics and engineers.